Okay, so I've been playing around with Berry Boot uh, and I thought I'd try a bit of overclocking today. Uh, so if I hit edit menu before it boots up uh, and then go into edit config and config.txt. Somewhere in here, it doesn't really matter where you put it, I usually put it somewhere near the top. Uh, you need to put in the settings that you wish to use. Now I've used these settings on loads of operating systems uh, with my Pi 4 and it's never been a problem. Uh, and so I'll keep using exactly the same settings. Uh, arm underscore frequency equals 2000 and the GPU overclock at 750. Uh, so that's all you have to do to that. If I hit OK, there you go. Now if I go back into edit config, you'll see that under config.txt, those have been added. Uh, and obviously overclock at your own risk. I use a Pimeroni fan shim and I've, I've had no problems going even up to 2147 in Raspbian um, and it's always been fine. So I'll continue to do it. So if I hit OK, that goes back. Now if I want to boot into an operating system, so if I boot, boot into Puppy, Okay, so Linux Puppy has booted up. Now, if ever an operating system didn't need overclocking, this would probably be the one because even without overclocking, it is super fast, really, really snappy. Um, and uh, it's a very small uh, installation. Um, so it doesn't take up very much room, even though there's tons of things in here. There isn't a full office suite, but there is a lot of things that you don't find in, in other systems. Interesting, they put loads of icons on the desktop. It could certainly be made to look a lot better. I mean, obviously, the background, I thought it was like a child's operating system at first. Um, but the more I look into it, the more, actually, it's pretty complicated and uh, pretty in-depth. So there's all sorts of things on here uh, about system. There's all sorts of partition managers in here uh, under utility. There's all sorts of backup and sync and things like that. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the file manager. I thought it, it just, compared to lots of other, I've tried so many different Linux operating systems it just for me it was a little basic and I couldn't find my NAS drive easy enough and that's one of the things I use to base you know how I, how I like the operating system is is how intuitive it is straight from the off so yeah a bit of a learning curve um, but it and, and it does seem like an older operating system but as I say super super fast so if I go down just to sort of flick through and show you what sort of things are on there uh, networking things, uh, all to do with internet browsing. There's only one browser and that's Chromium and unfortunately I still can't get that to work. So if anybody else knows of a way of getting Chromium to work uh, properly in this, uh, I'll show you the error that it comes up with. It, uh, it basically does that. Uh, and I've tried, I've looked through on various forums and haven't really found an easy fix. But I don't think this is an operating system that I would end up using. Although what you can do with it is install it on a USB drive and, uh, and internal hard drive or whatever. There's all sorts of things on here. It's very involved. There's so much information on here. It's real. It's like an enthusiast sort of uh, system. And I, I would rather something a bit more straightforward to use. Just the look of it, it just, to me, I thought it was like a child's operating system. Um, it, it just, it seemed to be that, that way, but obviously it's not. It, uh, and, and one way you can change just the look of it uh, to look a bit more modern, uh, you can change the icons to, I thought this Stardust looked a bit more, uh, quite a nice, there you go. So that just, just made it look a bit better. Uh, you can also play around with the desktop theme. You can see it's, it's super fast. Uh, theme chooser, there's all sorts of different things you can flick through and change very, very quickly. So let's go back down to here. Uh, under fun, there was a strange Rubik's Cube game, which I thought uh, would be interesting. But if I click on, what does it say, space to start, it just crashes. <laughs> so it might be an x86 game. Uh, it might, obviously it's not optimized for the Pi 4. Uh, so what was that? Under multimedia, do so you go into here, look, you've got a, a player, audio mixer, P, uh, CD ripper. So if you want to get MP3s or, or, or files off a CD, you've got that. Shrink, author, burn, uh, CD burning software. I might look at um, adding a CD or DVD drive just to play around with it and see what it's like uh, on the Pi. I haven't tried that. I, I don't know where my caddy is for my disk. I might search that out. But uh, yeah, so I'm not going to go any further with, uh, with Puppy Linux because 
the web browser is one of the tests that I do, and it's one of, obviously one of the quite important ones. I really wanted to see what it was going to handle YouTube like. So I'd like to come back to Puppy Linux uh, if I can get the web browser to work, um, but at the moment, without that, I won't really do the sort of full test that I would uh, I would do, uh, and I would probably install a different file manager because I wasn't a fan of the file manager that came with it. Um, but I'll just one more thing I'll do is just change the desktop. Uh, so simple wallpaper setting, and put something that looks more serious. Or oh, nice resolution. <laughs> anyway, I uh, hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.